बसमिल्ला रखमान रही तो आज हमारा जो पहला प्रैक्टिकल है दैट इज प्रिपरेशन ऑफ बैकलाइट प्रिपरेशन ऑफ बैकलाइट जो है दिस वी कैन प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम फिनॉल एंड फॉर मंडे एक्सक्रिप्शन तो हमारे पास जो रिकायर्ड केमिकल्स है वो है फिनॉल जैसे आप यहां देख सकते हो दिस इज और फिनॉल सो इट्स अ कस्टलाइन मटीरियल तो ये एक हमारा एक केमिकल फिनॉल है सेकेंड दैट इज आवर फॉर्मल डाइट सोल्यूशन तो ये अवेलेबल होता है मार्केट में एज इट एंड वी ऑल्सो रिक्वायर दस्टिक एसिड ग्लाइशियल एस्टिक एसिड दिस इज आवर केमिकल नंबर थर्ड एंड ऑल्सो वी रिक्वायर सम अमाउंट ऑफ एस सी एल यू कुछ सी हियर हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड सो वील स्टार्ट आवर प्रैक्टिकल एज वी नो दैट फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फिनॉल एंड फॉर्मल डेड वी आर बेसिकली इंट्रोड्यूसिंग सी एच टू ग्रुप on the benzene ring so that means we require a uh, formaldehyde in excess so what we do in our practical we will use the we will weigh uh, our the chemical number 1 will start with the chemical one we'll all start with it so we'll start with uh, so this is our beaker so in this beaker we have added 5 ml of uh, so phial of glycyl acetic acid okay so this is phial of amyl of glycyl acetic acid added in the beaker you could see here so then next so we will take a formaldehyde solution and then we will weigh 2.5 ml of 40% formaldehyde solution so formaldehyde solution already available hota hai market mein to isse humne uh you have taken around 2.5 ml so now start ha huh. You can start the work now. So start. Two point. This is five ml. Hmm. Acetic acid, sir. Add now. Add. You can start now. Adding this. So now he is adding. Mm hmm. Add two point five ml of formaldehyde solution. Forty percent formaldehyde solution to the beaker. So we have added this two point five ml of forty percent formaldehyde solution. and now next what we'll do is we'll heat so meanwhile we'll also uh get our burner ready okay we take some time ओके सो आर बर्नर इज रेडी ओहो ओके सो नाउ वी हैव कैप द मैश ऑन इट सो एज टू गेट दिस नॉर्मल हीटिंग एंड द यूनिफॉर्म हीटिंग एंड देन वी विल कीप दिस स्पीकर सो दिस स्पीकर वेयर वी हैव एडेड 2.5 ml ऑफ फॉर्मूलेट सॉल्यूशन प्लस एसिटिक एसिड so we we'll add phenol our next reactant that phenol is so we are using that phenol that's around 2 uh, grams mm -hmm. so now we'll add the 2 grams of phenol okay. so we have measured it already so as to prevent the time hygroscopic mm -hmm. so why uh, we have kept it close because it's hygroscopic we know phenol is hygroscopic okay add it now so now we are adding phenol So, now we'll start it. So then we'll start it. You can see here. So that should become a clear solution, no? Oh, that one. Now, uh, to get it further clarity, we'll heat it a little bit. So we'll keep it on this uh, heating setup. Process fast. You can keep it as it also. You can keep it as it also. So 
So we are trying to minimize the amount of time. And also clear the blue fiber. So it should be soluble. It's getting soluble slightly. So it takes some time, maybe a couple of minutes. And you can see it's getting clear. Now we can go inside, you can see inside the beaker. So you can see here the solution is getting cleared now. It's like a clear solution now. Okay. So then, so the last step is we'll add some few drops of HCl, hydrochloric acid. So we're adding few drops of HCl. Mm -hmm. So this is our hydrochloric acid. Now we'll add a few drops. Maybe one, two drops or three drops. Three, that's it. So more than enough, I think. Hmm? Now, please follow this beaker now. Now, you're shaking it and stirring it continuously so as to get the reaction faster. So, inside the beaker, we have phenol molecules and we have formaldehyde molecules, and this reaction is getting catalyzed by the presence of acid in the solution. You need further? We can add some more acid so as to get the reaction faster. We can keep it here also. So we are actually. So by two methods, first is styling and Second, you are supplying the energy in the form of heat. So both these processes will actually favor the, it will make the reaction faster. So by mechanical means as well as by the thermal means. So we have to style it continuously so that the reaction will initiate and then we we'll get some plastic. Yes, we get clear, clear yeah. picture from here. Mm -hmm. Continuously after styling, you see the white spot is forming. Yes, you can see this uh, now. The, the white material is forming there, so that's basically your backlight. Now, that is basically your backlight. You could see here, uh, you can turn this beaker also. Yeah, you see from this side. Yeah, you could see from this side also. Yes, so this is your uh, backlight is getting uh, ready. So this is your backlight material and uh, so what I will do, I will just take what is your spatula, spatula, <laughs> so you can also show it with the help of spatula, so yeah. So this is your backlight, this is ready and then this is how we prepare it and even in this industrial scale so this is actually the method which we utilize, you can see here, so this is your backlight ready. So this is all what we have in this practical and in the, I will also upload one more lecture 
about the reaction mechanism and the basics of the backlight. We have also done this in our uh, polymer chemistry course. So this is all about the practical number one. So hope you have enjoyed all for the day.